it is public knowledge uh, that the decision to approach the ICJ was a government decision mm. uh, taken by cabinet in a cabinet meeting. And so President Ramaphosa led from the front. Um, the uh, original uh, proposal was made uh, to me uh, by uh, Professor Dugard, who kept sending messages through others. Mm. Uh, why is South Africa not going to the ICJ? Uh, why is South Africa not using the Convention on Genocide? Because clearly a genocide is underway. Uh, why, you know, uh, is no one using international instruments? So I was getting these messages, and people were sending them to me like, I'm the one, you know. Uh, who should uh, act on, on these things. So it's possible they were also sending the same messages to Minister Lamola as yes. Minister of Justice. And of course I had Ronnie Casserles who was messaging me all the time. <coughs> um, and then uh, Minister Lamola sent me a note in a meeting and said, why uh, don't you initiate uh, a case utilizing the convention on the crime and punishment, mm. uh, the punishment of the crime of genocide. So I thought, hmm, all right. So I uh, discussed it with the DG, Zane Dangle, and uh, Zane has been a committed activist for the Palestinian cause for many, many decades. And uh, he immediately said, yes, you know. So I said, but why are they all approaching me? And he said, no, Minister, on the convention, the initiating minister is you. Mm. Even though it's a justice matter, it, it's foreign affairs that initiates. Mm. So I said, okay, let's do a memo to government first. Yeah. Because we can't go on our own. So, so that, that memo goes to cabinet goes secretary? To cabinet, yeah. And then, and then they yeah, put yeah, it yeah. on. So we did it now, which was already late in the air. It's late 22. Uh, uh, 20, yeah, 23, yeah, yeah, and so we had to move it quite speedily. So I, uh, you know, spoke to our president, told him about the discussions we've been having and the approaches, and that you know I intended to uh, bring this memo, and I would ask him to allow it to come before others. Yeah, um, and you know, and he said, all right, I want to see it before you know it's finalized. So we worked liaise with his office and particularly advocate Jele, who was his legal advisor. Uh, and yeah, so we got the memo done. Cabinet approved. Uh, and sent it through to cabinet, explained. And really the reaction in cabinet was, phew, yes, it should have been done long ago. Yeah. You know, because they were always asking, what's happening? What are we doing about Palestine? Why yeah. are we not doing more? So then we moved.